This is the CBS Television Network. Jimmy Durante. In motion. In the Jimmy Durante Show. Fabulous Las Vegas. The big event here this week is the Golf Tournament of Champions, which is being played on the Desert Inn Court. Matches for the day, and everyone is gathered in the beautiful painted desert room to watch a champion in his own right, the one and only Jimmy Durante in person. <laughs> You know what happened right here in the desert inn. I walks up to the slot machine, I put a lead nickel in a slot, and what do you think came out? What? Dumb manager. <laughs> so let's have fun. Fun in the sun, in the sun, Las Vegas style. You've got to stop on the train to There's a guy going in business for himself. <laughs> now you know that. That's the way she wants me to wear it. Let me Cancer fun is a champion. I know there's a lot of them in the audience tonight, and I'm going down amongst the audience and interrogate them. <laughs> if Ed Sullivan was so lazy, this is the way he'd do it. <laughs> there goes a load of ice with three olives. Twelve dollars and a half for that load. <laughs> Folks, I want you to meet Tom Harmon, one of the great broadcasters who's now broadcasting the festival. Hey. Joey Lewis, now appearing as the young man. There's our pal Goldman Cattleman. I swear I pronounced your name right. Folks, I'm going to introduce two of the greatest golfers in the country today, Lloyd Mangrum and Carrie Middlecoff. <laughs> I thought he was one of us. <laughs> Say, Lloyd, what did you shoot today? Not bad, Jim. I had three birdies. Three birdies. And, uh, Carrie, what did you shoot? I got two birdies and an eagle. Two birdies and an eagle. What'd you have, Jim? Well, I shot a birdie, two eagles, a prairie dog, and a pedestrian who didn't hear me have a fall. <laughs> <laughs> he 
sure the guy don't want to pay the 12 and a half. Bang, it goes into the vault waiting for another victim. <laughs> hey, Lord, you want to settle that bet right now? Yeah, but uh, let's get up here where we got a little more All room. Right. What do you mean, let's get up there where you got a little bit more come room? On, come on, Jim. Wait a minute, you're spoiling the show. Come on, come on. Come on right, let's get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Now they're trying to force another guy to bring it up a persuader with him. <laughs> I saw this thing in the joint is ice, ice, ice. What a spot for Admiral Boyd to discover. <laughs> now, what can I do for you, Gus? Just a private bet we got, Jim. Yeah? We need you to settle it. No, right? What do you want me to do? Do you uh, really think you can do it, though? The same? <laughs> same? Oh, all right. I'll lie. I'll lie. I'll lie. <laughs> There's a strike. Come on up here, man. Come up here. Come up here. Girls, please, come up here. Come on, Mo Dillick ain't gonna say anything here. Come on. Come on. That's it. Come on, move back. Say, what did you do before you became a waitress? That. <laughs> what did you do before you became a waitress? Jimmy, we used to be in the ballet. Used to be in the ballet. And what did you do before you became a waitress? Tours your J in the ballet. She used to tour in the J. <laughs> <laughs> you better laugh. You, your job is hanging by a thread. <laughs> hey, what did you do in the, before you became a waitress? I was in the ballet too. You're in the ballet too? Well, why are you ballet now? Well, it's oh, a ballet. Ballet. I, I, ballet. Ballet. I understand. Yeah. I understand, girl. I understand. Very quick. Now, if you really love the ballet, you crave it. I suppose that you're worried on a freight. Cause it's dying and you think no one can save it. But the rally is coming to your aid. Nipper Susan. 
She said, be still. I think that I was dancing to the Umaresque when someone hollered crazy when I did my Arab best. The gap for the left. The girl's gonna play a break the leg. You've got a job for life. You know, folks up in Greenland, when they kiss, they don't kiss with the lips like we do. When they kiss, they rub noses like this. Oh, oh you'll never know what that does to me. <laughs> you dance like the rest of the girls. I don't care what politician puts you there. What's the next one? I'm the family master who breaks all the plaster on the ceiling. What I've got this to say if you want family to pay. Just stop the disaster and go on the family master. Jimmy, won't you please dance for us? I shall dance. And for you girls, I'll do my uh, favorite step, my triple pirouette on one foot in reverse in midair. Everybody, how you? How you get that cry? Oh no, Jimmy! Please, you know, no. folks. You know, folks. This is this is what he uses to make them cry every time he sings the song. Orange juice after shave lotion. <laughs> I'll leave you with that to shave. <laughs> Corner. 
Boy, a revolving stage. They don't know it, but they're building a joint across the street. It'll put this place to shame. The stage stays where it is, but the joint turns around. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Eddie Jackson of Frank Jackson and Durant. <laughs> Here we are in Las Vegas. Pretty soon we'd be right in New York. Looking at the Coke Mate 70. Back on Broadway. Hit it, Roy. Get the car in the bush, huh? in the world is the combination shot. It's the long drive and short, uh, what's the line? What? I know my own lines, Mr. Bob. <laughs> and the short pitch. Now, uh, if many of you are planning long drives, why, here's a short pitch from the sponsor. The commercial. <laughs> Change the oil. Have the car lubricated. Check the radiator. Check the tires. How will I ever remember all that? Oh, wait a minute, ma'am. You don't need to remember everything about your car. All you have to remember is one thing. Get in your car and drive it to your neighborhood Texaco dealer. He'll do the rest. Let's try it and see. There, that's the place. Nice, clean-looking station, isn't it? You see, ma'am, cleanliness and efficiency are habits with Texaco dealers. Well, go ahead, take a look around. That's where your car will be lubricated with Marfac, the lubricant that gives your car that smooth, cushiony feeling for a thousand miles or more. Notice that up-to-date equipment. Looks as modern as tomorrow, doesn't it? No doubt about the kind of service you'll get here. And remember this, your Texaco dealer has nothing but the finest of products for your car. For instance, when it comes time to drain and refill your crankcase, you get the best motor oil your money can buy. Advanced, custom-made Haviland. And that new top-octane Sky Chief gasoline not only delivers top power, but it also protects your engine from wear because it's supercharged with Petrox, Texaco's exclusive petroleum-based non-metallic additive that leaves no harmful deposits, reduces engine wear. Yes, indeed. Take a friendly tip from Harry Bonzel and get acquainted with your neighborhood Texaco dealer. 
You'll find that he's an expert at keeping that car of yours running the way it should all the time. You see, he knows how busy you girls are, what with getting the kids off to school and doing the shopping and the hundreds of other things you do. And he's anxious to keep that car of yours dependable, trouble-free. Get to know your Texaco dealer. You'll find he's the best friend your car has ever had. <laughs> Sure got pretty girls here at the Desert Inn. Tell me something, why is this girl getting all the attention? Well, Jimmy, I'll tell you, this girl is the second girl from the end, from the right-hand side. Oh, the second, second girl, girl from the, the right, end. that's the important spot. Oh, you know something? What? That must be the choice spot. Yeah, that gives me an idea. Say, if a chorus girl can happen to a chorus girl, it can happen to a chorus boy. Right. Say, do you know what I'm going to do? What? Well, I'm going to form my own chorus and be the second boy from the right. Okay, Jim. And now, folks, I want you to meet Johnny Ray.
night. Good night. Good night. It's time to say good night. Folks, is yours?